I get a lot of requests. Do you have a T50 rebuild kit? That's actually not a yes or no question, and I'll show you why. Back in the day, a typical rebuild kit would be six main bearings, five synchronizers, you'd usually get a gasket kit, two seals, and then eight needle bearings. Sometimes they give you like the shifter rebuild parts. So I'm just gonna demonstrate the six bearings and then five synchros for you. So, a lot of these bearings are actually discontinued now. I actually do not have a front countershaft bearing that's OEM Toyota. So the old one used to be cylindrical rollers. The new aftermarket one is actually just a ball bearing. Same thing, the OEM style rear countershaft bearings no longer available. If you wanna compare these two, you see, um, the OEM style has these inner and outer races and it's cylindrical bearings in here. The new aftermarket one is all just ball bearings. I'm okay with the new style, um, but just letting you guys know even hard parts like bearings are getting discontinued. Why is the question, do I have a T50 rebuild kit? Not a yes or no question. Well, if I told you yes, that means everything in this kit would help you rebuild a T50, which is not the case. So I'll show you, all of this is what it takes to build a T50. So unfortunately with a T50, almost every single hard part sees wear. What are our hard parts? In a T50, you have three shift forks. All of these guys, the actual fingers, there's a width and these fingers wear out. This is the bushing for the tail shaft. Luckily these are pretty stout on a T50, but I've had customers tell me that um, they've needed these before. Remember those cage needle bearings that kept on getting, people kept on squishing them? Um, these are what they look like. The springs inside the hubs, you have three different styles. And then the same thing with the keys. You have three different styles of keys for the one, two, fifth reverse, three, four keys. All these three keys are different and um, you need three of each for each assembly. The most critical part for shift smoothness and shift quality are these shift sleeves. And I'll open up this one. So again, your T50 shifts poorly, gets blocked out of gear. These are probably the issue, not your synchros. And um, I noticed these got a revision at some point because if you look in here, I don't know if you can focus in but um, the new style, there's those little cuts. I'm not 100% sure what they're for, but these shift sleeves got a revision at some point. And there's three of these for every T50. Three, four, one, two, and then fifth reverse. All right, so why is a T50 rebuild so expensive? It's because all this stuff is discontinued. So for sure, I know tail shaft bushing, there's no more in the US. This stuff is straight discontinued, cannot get from Toyota anywhere anymore. These hub springs can't get anymore. I'm getting majority of this stuff from Japan, but even some stuff is getting harder and harder to get. So I'll give you some examples. Reverse fifth. One of my suppliers said this is actually off of a like an 80s Toyota Crown, so probably you know can't get this for Corolla anymore. For sure, you can't get these in the US anymore. These keys getting harder to get, but again, can't get in the US. Super hard to get, even my Japanese connection cannot get these. 
If you look at this label, this is probably somebody's old stock in somebody's drawer. So fifth reverse keys. So I'm having to essentially like garage sale hunt for these, this stuff in Japan right now. All right, so now you guys know why when you ask me, do you have a T50 rebuild kit for sale? It's not a yes or no answer. And then also you guys who have asked me for a quote on our T50 rebuild, now you know why it's so expensive. It's the parts. So I wanted to thank all you guys for watching again. I know this video is long overdue. Remember to like, subscribe, leave a comment. And if you'd like to support the podcast, if you'd like to support the YouTube channel or support me in general, make sure to visit cmautohouse.com and pick up some stickers. Thanks again, you guys.